I want to shift to the airline industry. David, you've uh, started, I can't think of an airline you started that wasn't a success. We've had a, a string, you know, it's hard to... I suppose That's because there aren't any. No, there, I'm just kidding. There we go. <laughs> just kidding. But, but in true, uh, the airline industry overall is doing better. Uh, what's your vision for the future of the industry as a whole uh, as, as everybody kind of upgrades their game uh, and, and we're back, back in the old days where everybody's losing money? I mean, yeah. back then everybody's going bankrupt, right? And today, all of a sudden, uh, almost nobody. There are still few that are we, we're losing. I mean, my friend Peter Greenberg in the audience was mentioned to me all the carriers that have gone bankrupt in the last year in in, in Europe. In Europe, yeah. But tell me, what, what's your vision for the airline industry? Well, a, a couple of things. Uh, you know, for you know, starting in Brazil, one of the things that we're doing down there that I think is really interesting. We, I mentioned, we serve. I think we're up to 117 cities in Brazil. Brazil isn't like the United States where you can get it, order an Amazon package and get it the same afternoon or the next day. You get, it takes you two weeks to get stuff. And so we serve, through these 117 cities, we serve 3,500 communities. And so we're setting up a logistics operation where we will become kind of UPS slash Amazon of Brazil where you can get a package on the next day. So you can order it and get it the next day. <clears throat> so that's pretty innovative and it's pretty creative and I think it's going to add a drive a ton of value to our business and you know fill some of our empty bellies and and make things more efficient and um, than they were being handled today <clears throat> tap one of our big challenges of tap is that we do really great uh, in the third quarter and we do okay in the fourth quarter we do pretty good in the second quarter but we do horrible in the first quarter so what we're trying we are going to, to in conjunction so, with Azul so book a flight on top of this quarter right yeah it's <laughs> Portugal the weather's 65 degrees and nice if you live in Detroit come on over um, or Chicago where we fly nonstop. Um, but if we want to we're going to use some of the ability that Azul has on package divisions and we're going to change transform more our route system in the first quarter to be more le leisure driven to places where Europeans like to go in the summertime um, when it's cold in, in Europe and then um, do packages, golf packages and stuff for people who live in Chicago to come to Portugal and be in 60 degree weather. Um, and so we're going to do a lot more of that <clears throat> uh, coming up this year. We've got a great new revenue officer and he's really driving that charge. Uh, I think, I think I, and I alluded this a little bit in my opening. Uh, for the airline in the United States, people really want super apps nowadays, and you know I think we're we're you know we're not going to be perfect for, off the gun, and you know it's easy to talk about stuff as opposed to experience it. We got a team of people that have been working for a year, and they'll have another year uh, or more to develop um, where you can combine the whole experience, where you can have <clears throat> you know everything on your app with your rent a car, your hotel your pickup, your tickets, everything combined. You have to jump around from maybe, you know, a hotel app to a rental car app to a, to, and, and I know airlines try and sell their stuff online, but we're gonna try and make it as seamless as possible. Um, and so that, that's, that's really one thing. But also, um, you know, the shared economy thing is really interesting. And I think it's, it's created a ton of opportunities to the other thing I alluded to um, in, in really being able to um, you know, take a snowbird who wants to go live in a place that is not as cold as where he lives, maybe 40 degrees uh, warmer, and then have it be a peak season place where uh, this person can actually buy a place, <clears throat> stay in it six months of the year for free, basically, rent it out the other six months of the year, either through VRBR, VRBO or ARBNB, so we can help them, them do that. And then we can give them, if they buy it you know, through us, we can give them free airfare to go back and forth. Give them a gold ticket and say you can fly free back and forth. Pretty so, good deal, I think I'll go for that, yeah. And some of them maybe live in uh, high, higher tax states uh, than the others, so if they live six months in one day, they could even save on their taxes, who knows? I mean, there's a lot of, of possibilities there, but it's all about access and mobility, and so we're gonna provide that for a lot well, of people. it sounds like you're going beyond just being a transportation system and trying to be more community different. As you said, with your new carrier, you, you see yourself as a technology company. So that's an interesting approach, definitely.